This technology is really exciting. Um, it is uh, the first time that uh, we have been able to demonstrate uh, and develop a device that can be implanted non-invasively, not requiring an operation to chronically, over many months or years, record brain activity. Um, and that can be used for patients for a variety of different applications, but the most obvious is for people who are paralysed following a, uh, a stroke or a, uh, or a spinal cord injury, um, that it can allow the, the brain wa brainwave activity to be, um, to be recorded and translated into, uh, into hopefully movement in the long term. But it also has applications for many other areas. Patients with epilepsy can chronically record their seizures and allow better treatment for epilepsy. It could potentially use as a stimulation device for conditions like Parkinson's disease. So it has a, a really broad applications, but the key is it's simple and non-invasive and therefore potentially much safer for patients. Um, this has been a holy grail for uh, the research in bionics is to um, develop a device to record brainwave activity over a long period of times and mostly it's been done by implanting um, directly through neurosurgical procedures electrodes onto the brain. The problem with that is it is invasive, it has, has risks and also the electrodes are planted directly on the brain can set up infection and fibrosis and ultimately the, the quality of the recording deteriorates. Where inside the blood vessel it's much more protected and able to be, uh, be and doesn't damage the brain in any way and able to be uh, kept there long term. So it, uh, it provides a, a, a new method by which we can achieve what people have been trying to do for a long time.